Hello, Kester Young here. Today I'm going to share with you an epiphany I had about my sink. My potting area used to be out the back where the rainwater tanks are. I have a tap there that uh, you can gravity feed water from. But now that the vegetable garden is fully established, it's not logical to have my potting area out there as well. So some time ago I transferred the potting area over here the old dining room table which I'm increasing its longevity with the black plastic. The potting area is an old dog bed that I found at the tip and that's where all that happens. But what was missing was the sink to wash the dirt off the veggies so the dirt stays in the garden and doesn't go down the drain and get lost. So today's the day I decided to do something about it. It's been on my mind a bit um, of how to approach this. I don't have a tap here in the vegetable garden, which is a bit of an inconvenience. I have to walk up the stairs through the carport and turn the tap on around there, so it's a little bit to and froing. Today I had an epiphany. I thought, could I put the sink straight over the worm farm, which is in a bath, and see how that goes. And that's what I did, and I'm very happy with it. So, let me show you. As you can see, this is my worm farm in this bath. I have literally just placed the sink on top of the bath. I had to chock it up a little bit so the water would run through. Let's have a closer look. In the absence of a tap and a hose, well I do have a hose in here but if I don't want to go and turn it on and bring the hose over then I can use a watering can. So I've just put a plug in the bottom of the sink which is great. Let's do a bit of a demo with an actual vegetable. I've just picked these carrots. This variety is called Atomic Red. What I tend to do before they leave the garden is just take the tops off. That will certainly make it easier for washing. That just gets thrown back in there. Or I can put it in the compost heap, whatever. This is a nice straight one. But these carrots were grown on a new raised bed that had a lot of, well still has, a lot of organic matter um, about this far down. So some of them are quite forked. That one broke off. Oh, <laughs> that one. But they're still edible. It's just not the easiest to peel. Give them a rinse, get the majority of the dirt off. And then you've got your draining board here as well on the uphill side, so it drains back in here. Give yourself a little bit of a rinse. That bit of the job's done. Then the really cool part is when you let the plug out. The water drains onto the carpet that I have here as the light protection and filtration for the worm farm. There's still a bit of dirt there. If I want, I can rinse it out now or just leave it for later. This carpet here is a synthetic carpet, so it does tend to take a while for the water to uh, seep through the actual carpet but some of it has washed over here I might do a little rearrangement so that it all stays here longer because it's gone around the carpet and is dripping straight into the bucket the plug hole in the bath is the drainage point obviously for the water I have a brick in there that's just to stop the bucket from tipping over 
the reason I have a whole brick, even though it takes up so much room, is so I don't have to put my hand too far into the bucket to pull it out from underneath the bath. The slower your water drips into the bucket, the better, because you will get a, a better quality uh, worm juice. That looks fairly clear to me because it's gone around that carpet. I will just raise one side of the carpet to keep the water trapped in it longer. That last remaining water will filter through much more slowly and make for a better product. So there you have it, simplicity itself. In the meantime, I'd better go and rescue my kidney beans. I heard my timer go off. I got smart there. Bring the time out to the garden so I don't forget about my kidney beans on the stove and burn them yet again. I really want refried beans today.